Hello everybody, I'm Apolline. One year ago, I decided to take a gap year before my master's degree. At first, all I knew was that I wanted to live abroad. I had this envy in mind for a while, mainly to improve my English and get out of my comfort zone. And now, here I am, an ESC volunteer in Slovenia since the 2nd of October 2022, for almost 10 months. I had the opportunity to experience a lot since I'm here, but I've decided to step out of my comfort zone, changing myself even more, and what better idea than to vlog this? In April, I had the opportunity to telework one week from Roma. I decided to try to learn some basics in Italian, mainly watching YouTube videos and using Duolingo. Ciao a tutti! Come stai? So this week I'm in uh, Roma. I arrived uh, last Saturday and I'm here for a week. So I telework from here and I stay at the um, family's place of a uh, friend. Since uh, Saturday I already saw um, main um, touristical um, monuments and part of the city and Bonissimo. I will go to taste some uh, traditional food. So, um, of course, I will ask my friend uh, about this if he has any recommendation. And I will um, also try to talk as much as I can in um, Italian. So, I will uh, ask him now if we can uh, practice a bit before tomorrow so I learn some uh, new words that can be useful. Uh, so Adri is back, um, I explained him how is it going and uh, he doesn't want to be recorded so you will just have the chance to admire me. Tomorrow I want to go to try some um, traditional uh, food. You have some place where I can find good stuff? Hello everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course, Apolline, I have a lot of uh, places that I can recommend to you. And for tomorrow, you have one in mind? Uh, it's called uh, Trapizzino. It's a kind of uh, mixture between uh, uh, tramezzino, which is a traditional, I would say, Italian dish, and pizza, white pizza, which is traditionally from Rome. And um, you can get a lot of different uh, kind of traditional uh, dishes, uh, traditional food in this um, piece of uh, trapezino. Another option can be a tramezzino um, that you can find in different places but uh, for sure the best one is in a place called Luperini uh, where you have small tramezzini but uh, with uh, special uh, ingredients uh, like dried tomatoes and uh, mortadella and pistacchio all together. Okay, so I need you to Teach me some Italian sentence that would be useful to order to the guy or the girl in the place where I will want to buy some food. Of course, let's go. What do you want to know? For example, if I want to say, um, I would like to take this. So you can uh, say, scusa, vorrei ordinare questo. Okay. And you, instead of questo, you can say the name of the dish. So... Scusa, vorrei ordinare una mm. carbonara. Ok. How can I say what's the price? Quanto costa? Quanto costa? You can, uh, when you ask per, for the bill at the end of the meal, that for sure is useful. Il conto per piacere. Ah, when I was watching some videos, na na na, to learn Italian, I learned this. At least with this I can order and be polite in a restaurant or bakery, whatever. Tomorrow I will go in the street and I will go to ask some Italian people to teach me some uh, sentences. How can I start to talk with them? Like what's the best way for you to stop them mm -hmm. and convince them to help me in this? So for sure challenge. if you want to be really polite, uh, you can say Scusa, ti disturbo? Mm -hmm. which means, uh, excuse me, am I bothering you? Super similar to French. Okay. Excuse-moi, parce que je te dérange. And uh, you can try to convince them uh, saying, uh, sto facendo una challenge. Okay, and how can I say, like, uh, hello, do you have uh, some free time? 
Ok, in that case you can ask uh, scusa, sei libero or libera if it's a girl. Hai But del tempo libero? They will not understand this like you are single. <laughs> Hai del tempo libero? I, okay, you have another idea of another sentence that can be useful to talk to them. Puoi aiutarmi? Ok, ok, so I think that after the end of this week um, I'm Italian. Grazie mille Adriano. You're welcome. Prego. Ciao! So today is the day. It's like 10.30. I edited like two, three hours this morning. And uh, now... I'm going to my first step. Ciao! So, my first step of the day. Il faut être ingénieur pour ouvrir cette porte. So my uh, first step of the day is to go to a kind of a bakery. It's uh, three minutes by uh, foot. I'm not comfortable at all with the GoPro. So, Patisseria, Cafeteria, Luperini, Rosena. Haha. <laughs> I don't have internet connection. Ha ha ha. Alleluia. My 4G is back. Everybody is looking at me. I want to kill myself. Not sure that I will enter with the GoPro because it's too much. Most of the time I just don't care, but now I just feel uncomfortable. Ciao. Uh, vorrei ordinare un um, tramezzini prosciutto e formaggio. Uno mortadella e pistaccio. Porti via. Che? Porti via adesso. O non vuoi ordinare? Take away. Quanti? Dos otros uh, prosciutto e formaggio. So, quattro in total. Sei e otta. Carta. Grazie. Ciao. I'm back at home to try this tramitini. So let's see. I just know that I took one with um, prosciutto e formaggio. And the other one, uh, I don't know what is in... Shit. What is inside? It's good. The first one with uh, prosciutto and uh, cheese is validated. Nothing crazy, but it was good. And now let's see the chicken and salad. That seems really delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. This one is really, really good. Bon appetito, if you are eating at the same time. My bus is here. Oh, it's the same as Rouen. Okay, so mission to take bus is down. It's done. <laughs> I'm always uh, pronouncing in the wrong way these words. And uh, now I'm going to um, the place where there are a lot of universities. There are, it's so full of universities that it's called University City. I want to ask people in the um, street to teach me some uh, Italian words, sentences. Ciao! 
Scusa, ti disturbo? Yeah, so okay. Oh my god. I find courage the first one big fail, but she said scusa. I understood she is busy. Everybody will think that I'm crazy talking alone. Ah, Dio. It's super difficult because half of people are with the earphones and the other half is in group and no way for me to stop a group of people. Ciao, scusi, ti disturbo? Parli inglese? Uh, so so. Okay, uh, just that uh, I'm curious to learn some um, typical uh, Italian sentence. Uh, quindi delle affermazioni tipiche? Okay, you need the translation? Yeah. Sto facendo una challenge. Okay. And I ask people yeah. to teach me an Italian sentence, an Italian phrase. Ok, ok, sì, tipo affermazioni. S uh, sì, una frase tipica. Tipica, sì. Uh, mamma mia? Ma, yeah, I know this. Uh, uh, oh mio Dio? Oh mio Dio! Oh my god! Ok. Like uh, yesterday I learned uh, sta una flemma, c'ho una flemma. C'ho una flemma. C'ho una flemma. Significa angry. It's no, no, I'm no. lazy. Yeah, lazy. Uh, anche le parolacce. That means? Uh, <laughs> oddio, eh, non so come parolacce, come si può dire. Uh, uh, bad language. Ok. Uh, che palle. I'll break my balls. Ah, ok, ok. okay. <ride> Oppure... Uh, davvero? Non lo so. <ride> ok, it's ok. Thanks for your time. Buona giornata. <ride> she was super cute, but she was not really able to talk uh, English, so it was a bit a mess. I don't... Uh... <ride> It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, I just asked a girl and she was thinking like, what can I But, uh, teach you? Uh, an expression, uh, um, happy, sad, uh, angry. Like you want. Just that I learned some new words. Uh, if you uh, have an exam, in bocca al lupo. Okay. In bocca al lupo is an expression to before an exam. To wish good luck. Yes. Okay, uh, perfect. Thank you. Have thank a good day. Buona giornata. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so stressful. I'm super hot with the stress. I will try to find another person, the last one. Um, what kind of sentence do you need? Like It can be something that you are used to use uh, with your friends or whatever. Augura buona fortuna. No, ma non per augura buona fortuna, no, lei ha detto che gliel'ha già segnato, dico che ne so, per dire, per esortare i tuoi amici a fare qualcosa, mi dice non tale legge. Vabbè, diglielo. Ok, so to, um, to get your friends to do something with you, uh -huh. um, that maybe they, they don't really want to do, you tell them non tale to do this thing, which means like uh, you're not tough enough to do this thing. So ok. You say, non tarege. Ok, ok, super. Grazie. Wish you a good day. Buona giornata. Ah, so, eh, I managed to stop a group of people. Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> Already time to go back uh, home uh, after this uh, little uh, experience. Uh, super stressful, but. Uh, <laughs> People also looking at me like, what the hell is she doing? Coucou! I'm back and I'm in front of the computer working on my uh, edits. Hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Wish you um, buona giornata, buona notte, buon appetito. Don't know at what time what you are doing when you are watching uh, this video. And uh, see you in the next challenge. Ciao! What comes next will be marvelous. <laughs>